friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have two different unboxings to share with you. I have a wax unboxing from Broadway Wax and I have a fortune cookie soap unboxing. I'm gonna go ahead and start with fortune cookie soap so you can feel free to look for the timestamp if you want to jump ahead to Broadway Wax. But uh, fortune cookie soap once again did their beloved Christmas in July sale and as they tend to do, they did their get what you get bags and I so amazingly snagged two of them. How it works is there are $10 price tags and then what you get is at least $35 worth of product. I went ahead and ripped open the bags and dumped them into the box to share with you. And I have to say the soap fairies were awfully good to me in my random bags. So let's go ahead and start. I do have one duplicate. I got two, one in each of my bags of the Zero Whipped Cream, which comes from their Nightmare Before Christmas collection, a beloved collection. I really like this scent. It is an awesome fall scent. It has like a sweet cinnamon pumpkin vibe to it, which I think is great. I also, I don't know, I feel like these are not the typical sizes of their whipped creams. I could be totally cracked and they are in fact the usual contenders, but these are awesome, really happy to have a duplicate of it because the scent is so, so yummy and so great for fall. Because we started out with something positive, I will share something somewhat disappointing. I feel like the perfume oils are not big sellers for them because I tend to always end up with multiple, if not at least one perfume oil. And between my two bags, I received three. So I got this little velvety bag that has a perfume oil library in it. I don't know if these are all from one collection. I feel like they probably are, but I don't know the collection. I'm not gonna open any of these because now that I don't have a need to wear body lotion in the winter because my body lotion collection is so small, I don't need to mix these and I don't like the texture of them. So I've got this and then I have two others. I have something Wicca This Way Comes. I do like this scent. I've had it in a few different variations and it's yummy me but don't want the perfume oil and then I have Paradise Found from their Lorax collection. I think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to see if anybody in their buy sell trade group just wants these items. I'm not going to pay for it like I'm not going to ask them to pay. I just want to have them pay for shipping and if they do awesome. If not I'll try to pass it on to a friend. The same can be said with this fine fragrance mist which I got from their Brave collection. It's the Brave Wee Lassie. Um, I don't even remember if I like this scent or not. It doesn't matter. I don't wear fine fragrance mists. I haven't probably for like a decade. I just don't feel like they last very long on my skin tone. I'm not gonna wanna spray them all the time. And I have some big perfumes that I'm trying to work through. So I've left the safety seal on this. I think it's an awesome product to put in here if you like the Fine Fragrance Mist. But again, it's just not for me. So these were kind of the misses, but everything else that I have is great. So with that in mind, let's talk about the other great things that I got. I received a shampoo and a conditioner. The first one is the Do Go On Color Safe Liquid Shampoo. I feel like I've tried another one of their shampoos in like the Halloween box. It was a really vibrant orange color. This smells so yummy. I don't know what collection this came out in, but I'm super jazzed to be able to give this a whirl. And then from their Schitt's Creek line, they have the Rosebud Motel Traveler Conditioner, which oh, smells just like roses. It's so good. I actually was tempted to purchase I was tempted to purchase the collection, but I just didn't need it. So I'm really happy to see it pop up here in my box. Next one that we have is a bar soap. I'm super jazzed for their bar soaps. I feel like I can blow through them really fast because they're, I'm pretty sure glycerin based. So they go really quickly. This, I don't know what collection it comes from. I know what movie it is. It says, Buzz, your girlfriend, woof. Such a great movie. I love Home Alone. Um, so I don't know when they came out with this, but happy to have another bar soap. It's a practical item that I can get use out of and won't take me super long to use. It also smells really yummy. And then the last item I'm pretty sure came from their Winnie the Pooh collection. It's Honey Pot Bath and Shower Gel. Ooh, 
look at the packaging. It's so adorable. But take the adorableness aside, this scent is so good. Oh my God, it's like a florally honey. Maybe it's like, I don't know, pear, no, peach, peach juice. I don't know, it smells so, so good. I can't wait to use it. The packaging is super awesome. It's not very practical for shower gel purposes, more meant for bath, but I do not care. I cannot wait to soak my body all up in this. It is just adorable and a real highlight. So overall, I feel like I really scored well in the get what you get randomness category. A few items that were kind of a miss for me, but it's not a huge deal because there are other products in here that I like that I think really outshine the other items in the collection. So super jazzed with this and thank you fairies. This now brings us into our Broadway Wax July box, which was Hamilton themed. Uh, unpopular. I've never watched Hamilton, never listened to the soundtrack. It's never really pulled me in. I'm not the biggest fan of American history. I just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm not. It, I've always been more drawn to really old, like European royal history that really speaks to me. So I haven't seen it. Don't know much about it, but I've already subscribed. So I figured I would go ahead and give it a whirl. And I feel like that's actually going to be helpful for me evaluating the sense because I'm not at all married to what the theme is. So because it was July and we have an American uh, musical that we're based on, it's very 4th of July themed. So the first thing we have is that would be enough, which is frosted animal cookies, maraschino cherries, wild berry mousse, and blueberry cheesecake, which looks like this. I'm not going to open it because the little bag, oh wait, I can open it. Hold on. Oh yeah. I feel like the cherry and, uh, no, the cherry, the cherry and blueberry are most dominant, but it smells really, really yummy. Almost like a, a cheesecake. Next up is this little cup of wax. This is called History Has Its Eyes on You, Sugared Kiwi Melon, Cucumber Melon, Strawberry Peach Champagne, and Raspberry Sangria. So lots of fruits. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. It reminds me of a strawberry watermelon, watermelon lemonade scent from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, that's awesome for summer. Also, P.S. If I'm totally misguided and I should watch Hamilton, let me know because many of you told me Singing in the Rain was a must watch musical. And I gotta tell you, I really enjoyed it when I rented it from the library. So if this one really is worth all its hype, please let me know. Next up is Best of Wives and Best of Women. Lemon Sugar Cake, Sweet Cherry Frosting, and Whipped Cream. Mm, this one's okay. It doesn't really excite me. Like I wouldn't put it to the top of the melting section, but it's not terrible. I'm not the biggest lemon person, but it's not singularly lemon. So I'll probably eventually melt it. Then we have the, these two items. I don't know. There's no um, sticker on here and I'm horrible at describing scents. It definitely has like an effervescent scent to it. But aside from that, I don't, I don't know. It pulls ginger ale seven uppy to me, but that's more mino. So I'm not quite sure what this is meant to be, but really intricate wax here. We've got a clamshell, which is called wait for it. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, lavender, pink sugar, and cotton candy frosting. I like that even though it's a clam, she still put it in a bag. Oh. Mm, it's hard for me to get a read on the scent because it has like a wax smell to it, which does not deter me. I have found sometimes a super tart wax. If it gets old, it starts to smell waxy, but it has beautiful, strong scent performance when it's melted. So I'm not quite sure what the scent of this is, but I really like the pink and purple combo. Then we have this pretty thick brick. It's called The Story of Tonight. Pink lemonade, love spell, blueberry sugar, strawberry hard candy. So lots of fruits in this box. Oh, interesting. The love spell, throwing it back to my Victoria's Secret days, that's what I think is most dominant. Interesting. I'll be curious to see if that remains true when it's melted down. Coming up on our final two. This is Who Lives, Who Dies, Who Tells Your Story Street, which is sweet strawberry, sweet berry licious, vanilla ice cream, and luscious vanilla. Mm, wow. Mm, that's 
good. That's a really good one. I probably would want to melt this one close to the top. Very interesting. And our final wax melt is, oh, I'm going to pronounce this wrong. The Sheeler, Sheller sisters, so sorry. Merlot red wine, fresh linen, and velvet sugar. I don't tend to like downy smells, so mm, we'll see. The downy isn't reading super strong on coal, but that's not an indicator of what it will be like warm because sometimes downy overthrows everything. It just overpowers all the scents. But look at the pretty dress in there. So nice. All in all, I will say that this is definitely a fruit leaning box and fruits aren't my favorite scents. So this probably isn't my favorite box ever, but still really nicely done wax. I really like the variety of it and I do think it will perform well. So I'll be curious to see how it melts as I always am, but so far I've not been disappointed by her wax. The one thing I'll say now that I'm melting more of it is that when I go to cut it up, it's a very soft wax. So it tends to make the bags grubby, but it has not at all changed the performance. So pretty pleased with that overall. All right, guys. So there you have it. Those are the two boxes I wanted to share with you today. I so appreciate you being here and I hope you enjoyed seeing these contents. I look forward to talking with you in my next video.